Hello dear students welcome to your english class today let us read the lesson who did patrick's homework part 2 the little man's face wrinkled like a dish cloth thrown in the hamper he kicked his legs and doubled his fists and he grimaced and scowled and pursed his lips oh am i cursed but i'll do it students now patrick had saved the elf from the cat as per the promise elf had to grant a wish so patrick asked elf to do all his homework for 35 days as soon as the elf heard about patrick's wish he didn't like it his face got wrinkled like a dish cloth thrown in the hamper that means Dish cloth is a cloth used in the kitchen to clean the vessels and hamper means a basket with a lid now the little man kicked his legs and doubled his fists means to double to double fist means to bend your fingers tightly so that you are ready to fight with someone so elf grimaced and scowled and pursed his lips students all these are facial expressions to show anger and disapproval altogether elf could not say no to patrick's wish so he finally agreed to do patrick's homework as promised and true to his word that little elf began to do patrick's homework except there was one glitch the elf didn't always know what to do and he needed help help me help me he would say and patrick would have to help in whatever way i don't know this word the elf squeaked while reading patrick's homework get me a dictionary no what's even better look up the word and sound it out by each letter the elf kept his promise and started doing patrick's homework there was one glitch in doing homework students glitch means a problem so the elf had a problem he was illiterate he knew nothing about the subjects patrick studied so he would all he would always ask patrick to guide him in understanding the subject whenever the elf could not understand the meaning and the pronunciation of any word he squeaked means to cry or to make a high pitch sound the elf would squeak and uh, ask patrick to get him a dictionary and help him with the meaning and pronunciation of that word when it came to maths patrick was out of luck what are time tables the elf shrieked we elves never need that and addition and subtraction and division and fractions here sit down beside me you simply must guide me elves know nothing of human history to them it is a mystery so the little elf already a shouter just got louder go to the library i need books more and more books and you can help me read them too dear students since elf did not know all the subjects he asked patrick to help him when it came to math patrick was out of luck students out of luck means to be unlucky or unfortunate now patrick himself had to make elf understand the subject the elf shrieked means to make a high pitch sound so the elf shrieked when he had to complete patrick's math homework which included time tables addition subtraction division and fractions elf said that human history is a mystery to elves since they did not study anything like that students mystery means something which is kept a secret or something which remains 
unexplained. So, the elf asked Patrick to bring more books from the library and read it to him so that he can help Patrick in doing the homework. As a matter of fact, every day in every way, that little elf was a nag. Patrick was working harder than ever and was it a drag. He was staying up nights, had never felt so weary, was going to school with his eyes puffed and blurry. Since the elf did not understand anything about the subjects Patrick studied, Patrick himself had to make the elf understand the subject by reading the subject related books to him. The elf truly was a nag, means a troublesome person who always keep complaining and ask others to do something. Here, the elf always troubled Patrick to read and explain some or the other subject. Now Patrick completely started working harder on the subjects and his homework with great difficulty. He used to be awake for the whole night. Patrick felt so weary, means he felt so physically tired by doing hard work. So he felt so weary that he had to go to school with his eyes puffed and blurry. Means Patrick worked so hard that his eyes were swollen and became blur. Patrick almost looked like a sick person. Finally, the last day of school arrived and the elf was free to go. As for homework, there was no more. So he quietly and slyly slipped out the back door. Patrick got his ace. His classmates were amazed. His teachers smiled and were full of praise. And his parents? They wondered what happened to Patrick. He was now the model kid cleaned his room, did his course, was cheerful, never rude, like he had developed a whole new attitude. It was the last day of the school and the elf had complete freedom to go as there was no more homework to do. So, without speaking anything, the elf slyly, means secretively, moved out of the back door. Patrick scored A grade. His classmates were surprised. Teachers were full of appreciation and parents were trying to know what made him so perfect. Now Patrick had become a model child who cleaned his room, who cleaned his room himself and did all his daily work. Happily, he became a happy child. He was never rude to anyone and developed a complete new life. You see, in the end, Patrick still thought he had made that tiny man to do all his homework. But I'll share a secret just between you and me. It wasn't the elf. Patrick had done it himself. Now, in the end, Patrick became a model child. Patrick still thought that he had made the elf to do, to do all his homework. But in the real sense, it was Patrick himself who worked very hard and scored well in his subjects. Alright students, that's all for today. We have completed reading and discussion of the lesson, Who did Patrick's homework? Hope you all have understood it. Thank you children. Take care. Bye-bye.